Welcome Gemini. Okay, I'm Juanita and we are going to look at the next two weeks and what is going on for you with the Sacred Forest Oracle Cards, which I am loving, and Osho Zen Tarot for clarification. I was um, looking at maybe using some other, other cards for the clarification, but honestly, like, I connect with these cards so much that I'd rather get the messages out to you that, you know, are meant to come. Um, so let's just have a look here. Gemini. Okay, so first card up is <laughs> Foggy Bog. Patience. <laughs> this is hilarious, Gemini. Here in New Zealand. <laughs> oh, Gemini. Sorry, my cards are falling off the table already and I haven't even started with those ones. Um... Here in New Zealand, we call, sometimes refer to the um, toilet as the bog. Just going to, just going to the bog. So a foggy bog. That's funny. I could just make so much out of that. Patience, though. <laughs> Be patient. Although I have to say, actually, there is something in this, Gemini, and I'm going to make it as polite as possible, okay, because I feel like there is a message here, and I don't want to make fun of that for you. I feel as though this is about clearing all the crap out of your life and understanding, Gemini, that that can take time, that it doesn't happen overnight, that just because you may decide to clear stuff out, that it is a process, okay, um, because also if you look at the surrounding um, outside of the card here, all this here had to have been cut away to make this picture clear here, and that would have been a process of doing it snip by snip by snip, okay, so this is something, the other thing I want to say is that, you know how when it's foggy, and the sun comes up and it takes a while to burn the fog because the fog is dampness in the air, right? That that can take a bit of time too. Mm. So yes, practicing patience, which can be, you know, something that is a, come down to an art that needs to be practiced. Well, that jumped out. What's this one? We are the world. Okay, so you could be trying to clear things out to bring something else in or bring people together or bring something together. Maybe you're trying to change your world to make it a lot brighter potentially Gemini let's have a look what else do we have for compromise okay so in order to make this happen you may need to not, it's like okay here's what I'm feeling with this it's like someone's butting heads And neither one of the people want to be the one to go, to give in. And go, oh, okay then, well, we'll do it your way. But it's not necessarily about that. It's about taking two ideas and combining to them together so that both parties are feeling heard and feeling like their um, contribution is being accounted for. Because if you look at We Are The World, there is, um, everyone's a different shade of the colour, but no one has more of a place than the other, um, and everyone has come together in unity um, on an equal ground, okay, no matter what um, they bring to the table. Different shapes, different forms, different colours, different beings. 
This is very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. The other thing, sorry, I've, I've just got the next card here, but I haven't finished. <laughs> the other thing I want to say is that understanding, because this is the 10 here, right? And this is the 6. Okay, so understanding that how do I even get this out here? Um, the 10 takes time to get to okay this it's like trying to reach the 10 but stuck on number six because of stubbornness potentially um maybe not being able to get past something it's like there's something that you can't quite get past or maybe a blockage that needs to be cleared potentially um, and there's the sense of like, just want to get to the 10 already, like, let's go. But something's holding you back. Because this also, Gemini, like, I think you've had this card before, because I'm sure I remember thinking like it's the twins. Um, this could be a de an internal debate. Between one part of yourself and the other and one part is saying do this and the other part is doing saying do this and this is indecision potentially okay so let's have a look willow spirit flexibility wow this is I turned this card over didn't even make the connection here flexibility yep bringing in that flexibility um, seeing through a situation Okay, uh, I feel like kind of um, <sighs> like words keep coming in and then they go and it's like explaining what I need to say really well and then they just go out of my head before I even can even think about getting them out of my mouth. So I'm just going to pull some cards here and see what comes. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, rather than spend time here. It's about being fluid, really. It's about being fluid. Okay, it, uh, being very adaptable. That's it. Okay, trusting. Trusting that by doing that, um, yeah, see, these two are flying here, right? It's like this one's lifting off the ground here. Not quite sure if she's able to really flap her wings. Maybe not trusting her wings and thinking her arms have to do the work. But her wings can actually do the work. But they look so um, delicate that she's not... There's a lack of trust here. There's a lack of trust that this is going to work unless it's done a particular way. Um, so I feel like looking at all options... And understanding that all those options, all those options are going to get you to where you want to be anyhow. It's almost as though it doesn't really matter which option you take. You're going to end up in the same place anyway. Yeah, interesting. Gemini, interesting. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, so Miser. Oh, okay, Miser. Holding something back. Keeping things to yourself, not sharing, building walls so that people, you, 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 no one can see what's in here. It's like you have this, this gem, not just one gem, gem, <laughs> gem, gem, um, not just one, but plenty of gems inside of you that you're not willing to share because you do not trust. You don't trust. It's almost like if I'm going to fly, I fly on my own. Because I'll have my jewels stolen. My gems will be stolen from me. So I'm going to build this wall here. But what in turn happens, Gemini, is the wall prevents you from actually flying. And it doesn't allow you, it, it keeps you in this foggy bog. Bog being representative of crap. I don't mean that in a cruel way either. I don't, I don't mean that in a cruel way. Um, you know, but it's like being stuck in that, 
you know, and also being stuck in that really sticky mud where you can't lift your leg up and move, move forward. And, um, and it's this kind of energy here that's keeping you stuck. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's a matter of having this flexibility, okay? I'm trying to keep the cards in order so that I know how they came out because I get that you'll get all over the show and then I'm like, what can we with what? And I'm trying to explain something and it's like, I don't even know what came out. Anyway, that's beside the point. Frog spirit. <laughs> Renewal. Oh, this reminds me of, I don't even know what was the name of that story. Sorry, let me show you while I think about that name of the story. What was the, the, the princess and the golden ball? Was it? I think. I think the golden ball, she was playing with the golden ball and it went into a pond and there was a frog. And the frog was actually a prince who had a spell cast upon him that turned him into the frog. And when the princess kissed the frog, he turned into the prince. I think... I think that might be right. And this is what this reminds me of. Because look, he's got a crown on his head. So he's the prince. So, okay, so I know, the, okay, I'm, okay, Gemini, I know this says renewal. So it could be a new beginning in something for sure. Or not even a new beginning. Renewing how you see things. Okay, um, because again, we have these wings here. These wings. It's about adjusting, it's definitely about being flexible um, and adjusting how, it's like you can rise up, okay, out of the foggy bog, um, and this bird have, has wings as well. You may think, Gemini, that the only way to get up is to fly, but there's actually other ways of rising up, okay? That's the first thing. The other thing is, not everything is as it appears to be. There could be some hidden gems inside something that you might not be appealed to or you might not find appealing. Okay, there could be some hidden gem in there somewhere. And as soon as you start to discover it, it's going to come to the light. It is exactly how beautiful and um, what a gift it is. This gem could even be inside of you. Um, yeah, totality. It's like not quite seeing it, not quite um, grasping it. Um, clinging to the past. Interesting. Very interesting. I feel like this matches this card. There could be something in your past that you're not letting go of which is keeping you stuck and funny because I thought that before and I didn't say it and now this has come up to, for it to be said. Okay, um, <clears throat> Gemini, this is about putting a box over your, not seeing things clearly, not seeing things clearly. It's kind of really being in denial about something. Okay, and making something seem more attractive maybe than what it really is. <clears throat> not listening to those red flags, not listening to this potentially for some of you. It's interesting. Um, I feel like maybe for some of you, you're looking at some, you're focusing on something that you need to let go of in order to move forward with something else. Okay. Dragonfly spirit change. Look at this. I love this. This is a fantastic reading for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, Gemini. I've got a little frog in me throat. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, the dragonfly often hovers above water, and I feel like this is some kind of... Um, a change in your again the wings though right what is it with the wings i'm not quite getting my finger on it could be that you need to clear your energy around you um 
that something needs changing in order to calm your emotions because your emotions potentially are getting in the way of you seeing things clearly. There is wings in every card here, Gemini. Maybe you, maybe you, you could fly, Gemini, but something's holding you down. Or is it? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Don't take that as gospel, so I'm not quite sure on that. Okay, Gemini. Rebirth. Wow, man. big Something big is happening for you. Something big, man. Look at this. Rebirth. The camel stores water. The camel stores water in its humps, I think. So this is about storing emotions. Feel like for some of you, you feel as though if you let your emotions out, it's going to be like a roaring lion. But it's understanding, Gemini, that you can find other outlets to release those things. You, it doesn't always have to be bad and heavy. You can find other ways to let them out. You could be running. You could be um, finding... Um, like you could be dancing, you could be creating, you could be um, drawing, painting, anything, okay? Playing music. Did I say that already? I probably did. But anyway, you know, you can find other outlets to release these emotions. It doesn't have to be all doom and gloom, okay? Uh, it's actually changing the ways that you do this, Gemini, because maybe um, the ways that you have been doing that, wow, do you see that just fling out then? The way that you have been doing that in the past may not be working as well as what it once did. So yeah, look at the time. Oh my gosh, sorry, Gemini. Um, schizophrenia in two minds. Can't quite decide which way to go. It's like you're hanging in the balance. And again, we have birds here flying. Okay, um, and I feel as though you're allowing your thoughts to weigh you down because your mind races, races a lot, and your thoughts are really, really, really holding you down. And there's this also um, feeling quite vulnerable as well. There's this indis, oh, sorry, <laughs> just clap, like that was really loud. There's an in this indecision. It's like you can't see, you can't see clearly. Um, and, and it's because you're letting this try to see, for, you're letting your thoughts see for you instead of letting your eyes see, if that makes sense. Um, because your eyes, it's like you're seeing something and you're seeing the truth, but your thoughts are telling you, no, that's not how it is. That's not the truth. Yeah. Um, okay. So the next one, thicket of thorns, uncertainty. Wow. Gemini makes total sense to what I was just saying, right? Uncertainty, and I am drawn to here this deer. Stood still, like, is this person okay? Can I move forward? What What's going on? What am I doing? She's got butterflies around her. She's got this light shining upon her. Her energy is beautiful, but the deer is doubting what the deer is seeing, okay? It's stuck in this thicket. This thicket of thorns, and it's like this here being stuck. You're stuck. You feel stuck, Gemini. Absolutely, you feel stuck. Abundance. Moving forward. Oh, abundance. It's not even abundance. It's adventure. <laughs> Maybe, though, that wasn't a mistake. Maybe this going on an adventure will bring you to abundance, right? Maybe you just need to go forward anyway, even if you're not sure. Because again, no matter which path you take, right, you're going to get to the 10. You're going to get to the destination anyhow. might just take a bit longer. And you might need to do that so that you learn another way of doing things, right? Yeah, see, intensity. And this doesn't surprise me. Surprise, sorry, I can't even talk properly because I'm trying to talk so fast. Um, it doesn't surprise me this is coming out because this feeling of vulnerability feels incredibly intense. Okay, and it's this 
feeling of stuckness is, yeah, this is what the wings are about. You don't feel like you can fly because you're stuck, Gemini. Oh, it came. <laughs> Eventually it came. Retreat. Spirit Guardian of Winter. Oh, this is really nice. I love snow globes. I really do love them. Retreat. Maybe you need to go on a retreat. This could be a retreat of um, a bit of a break from your mind. Gemini, going into a space within you that doesn't have all this chatter going on around you. Celebration, getting together with friends, celebrating who you are, celebrating what you've achieved in your life so far. Innocence. Aha, I was saying to either Taurus or Aries, not sure. If you have them in your chart, go look at them. But what I was saying was about this um, master here, allowing, making space for the grasshopper to com communicate to him what the grasshopper knows. Okay, now, the point of this is that you, um, sorry, let me clear that, start again. There could be something that happens for you or is in your life or whatever that may seem very insignificant, okay? And, and let's talk about, say, walking on this adventure, going along this path, okay? Every step you take, there may seem like there's some very insignificant happenings or insignificant things along the way, Gemini. But it's like those insignificant things actually... When you pay attention to them, you will find there is much more to be learned from them and um, they actually turn out to be a massive gift that you did not realise existed. Whereas if you had have just walked on by you and not paid attention to these insignificant things, um, you wouldn't have found this this hidden gem, right? So, in saying that, Gemini, freedom, eagle spirit, freedom. See, this one's flying. This one's flying. We get to the crux of the matter and this one's flying. You're feeling stuck. You feel like you can't fly. Okay, this Pegasus here, um, I think... This is clearing the space of your mind so that you can surpass whatever even you dreamed was possible. That when you get your wings working and you begin to rise up and fly, Gemini, you will be able to fly higher than even you imagined. This is breaking through this glass roof, okay? Um, and, and I feel like what's keeping that in place is your own thoughts, um, <laughs> ripeness, and we have rebel breaking these chains, right? This rebel here is not really rebelling against anything. He's just allowing himself to be in his truth. He's allowing himself to actually be who he truly is. And I feel like, Gemini, maybe you're holding back from that. You know, um, you haven't really allowed yourself, I want to say, to come to fruition, in the sense of you have been, how do I even put this? It's really important too. You've been allowing yourself to fall from the tree and you've done that. Willingly and not really putting yourself forth to be picked. Does that make sense? This, yeah. Whereas the rebel, he's going to break off those chains and he's going to be in his truth with such conviction that there is no way he wouldn't get picked because again he's the eagle here's the eagle flying he's giving himself the freedom 
to be picked. He's giving himself the freedom to be seen. He's not making any excuses for himself anymore. He's letting himself fly. So Gemini, it's really important for you to go into what it is that you, first of all, what are you doing to hold yourself back and why are you doing that? What are you afraid of, Gemini? What is it that you're truly afraid of? Okay, because there is something that you are very afraid of. Gemini, you are protected. Gemini, you are unconditionally worth it you are enough you are far more than enough Gemini it is you who needs to believe it you need to come out from the shadows and into the light I'm sure this came up last time Gemini I'm sure this Gemini <laughs> let's have a look Mind, mind getting in the way. I can't do it. What will everyone think? What will everyone think? You see, you don't believe you're enough. If you believed you were enough, it wouldn't matter. And it's not even really about what everyone thinks, Gemini. It's about what you think of yourself. You're afraid of judgment. You're afraid of people judging you because you do not believe you're enough. So you're keeping your back, yourself back from actually participating in your own life. That's one part of this. The other part of this, Gemini, is about you bringing everything in. That's not how I want to put it. Using everything you have to create something that is uniquely yours, okay? Calling on your friends to help and support you. Calling on people that you know have your back to come and support you. There's these little things in your life, Gemini, that you're not paying attention to that you need to. some reason and I don't quite know what it is but there's something it's almost like there's something just one little thing that as soon as you kind of touch it it's going to click and everything will change okay not wrong one no what have I done that wasn't the wrong one oh sorry oh no <laughs> I thought I picked up one from the table. Sorry, Gemini. <laughs> I was like, that's the wrong one. I've already had that one, but I haven't. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I just picked up this one. Anyway. <laughs> See, like, you know, look, I could sit here and be like, oh, God, what are you doing? You shouldn't even be on here. You just made a real idiot of yourself. But you know what? It just is what it is. I picked up <laughs> The wrong card. Okay. Anyway, Gemini, you're not going to believe this card now. Wise woman of the grove, Grace. You see that? Gemini, this is the gem. This is you in a box. This is where you have put yourself. It could be due to other people and what they have said about you, but you are the one who holds you now in this box. But here's the thing, Gemini. The box is open. It has been unlocked and it has been opened. Gemini, you have... You have the support of your ancestors. You have the support of your guides. You have the support of the ancient ones. Gemini, we've all had so many past lives. We are the ancestors. Okay, we are the ancient ones. 
we have come back here at this time to shine our gems. Okay, this is very important for you to do because you are here to serve the world. You are here to participate and you are here to bring in all these gifts, okay, that you have been hiding out of fear, okay, to bring this, because amongst all this here, it's like all this treasure here is burying this one gem. Yeah. Very interesting. This doesn't surprise me. This has come up. Turning in, quietening down the voices will also help to quieten down the emotions. Okay, because it's this that's creating all this turmoil inside of you. Okay. Once you calm this and silence this, which is possible, but it does take work and practice, this, all these emotions will start to become calm. Okay. I will say on that though, Gemini, there are some emotions that need to be risen up and felt in order to be released. So just be aware of that source. Yes. This is a new beginning of something that you are passionate about. Did we not? Is this? I'm sure we've had this before too. And I don't usually remember readings, but I'm sure, Gemini, that this has come up. Um, this is allowing the truth of who you are to come forth. This is allowing your truth out, Gemini, um, to allow this gem to shine here. Okay, because this ultimately is this. No, this is this. This here, sorry, I'm getting myself all discombobulated, is this enlarged. Okay, this here is this enlarged. Okay, that's what it looks like. This is the source. And this is you hidden in the box away from everyone. Okay, so Gemini, let's grace the world with your presence and, um, and, and start to contribute what it is you're here to contribute because you, what you have to give is a gift to so many other people. You've just got to get out of your own way. Okay, Gemini. So, yeah, let's start working on that. I think we've already started working on that, but this is still working on it. And it's going to take time, and that's okay. Okay, Gemini. So, yeah. Um, getting unstuck, Gemini. Getting unstuck. This is what it's all about. Okay, Gemini. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.